Today's guest reminds us that God can help you overcome any challenge that you're facing to help you to become the person he has designed you to be. She shares all of this and more in her book called Change Your Story. Your life is a masterpiece waiting to be discovered. Kirsten Lee is my guest today here on Babby's House. Stay tuned. Babby's House is coming your way right now. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks for visiting Babby's house today and for taking time out of your busy life to be encouraged for just a few moments. My name is Babby Mason. I'm the host of, of today's show, of all the shows, as a matter of fact. Well, I'm happy to have Kirsten Lee as my very special guest, and she is the author of a great book called Change Your Story, and she is the poster child for that story because she has a story that just celebrates how Jesus Christ can make all the difference in your life. And she's going to sing for us as well after a little bit of a conversation. But I want to jumpstart today's uh, show with one of my favorite songs. I'm going to go back into the archives and pull out a Babby Mason song from a few decades ago called God Has Another Plan. He loves you. He has a plan for your life.
18, and this is what it says. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. He says, call on me and I'll answer you. Search for me and you'll find me when you search for me with all of your heart. God has another plan. Oh, yes, he does. Welcome back to Babby's House. I'm honored to introduce you to um, the author of Change Your Story. Your life is a masterpiece waiting to be discovered. She's also a singer, and she tours and speaks, and her name is Kirsten Lee. Welcome to Babby's House. Kirsten, I'm happy to have you on the show, my friend. Thank you so much. I am honored to be here. Amen. And the song, honored to have you. Oh, the song you just sang, it's so beautiful, and it couldn't, let, it couldn't have led into my story any more perfectly because... You know, our pain, our past, our circumstances, our yes. present, our addictions, they steal our vision. And they tell us that this is it. But with God, we can change our story. When we give up our plans to God, we become available for His. Yes. So and thank we, you for amen. writing songs like that and for singing them. They really do change people's story. Well, I love it when the Lord orchestrates the show. <laughs> Me too. Amen. You know, that way, he, he, you know, he's in charge. And so congratulations on your book called Change Your Story. You. And, you know, we all have a BC story. Those of us who are believers, we have a, a story before Christ. And you certainly have a story of um, wondering if God had a plan for your life. And so will you take us, you know, back to the beginning? Take us back to, you know, one of those things that we all struggle with identity, uh, many of uh, of us have struggled with addictions, and all of those are a part of, of your story. Uh, you know, give us the highlights. I was going to say, if we go back to the beginning, we have to be here I for, know, a, for long a long time. time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll um, rephrase that. Yes, well, I inspire and empower people not to let where they are become who they are. I share my dreams in detours, addictions, and triumphs to let them see by example that we don't have to live with whatever life throws us or whatever we get ourselves into that with God we can change our story. Because even if we're with God, I was with God, I was a Christian, but I still struggled, I still battled. Um, and one of the biggest reasons is I thought that um, I had messed up God's plan. And that's not true, we do, we can mess up, yeah. we do mess up, but God always has a better way. He can work it out for our good if we give it to Him. Yes. What? Um, you know, what kind of, uh, of, of challenges, you know, were you facing? Well, I think I grew up in a very small town in Kentucky. I never fit in. I was constantly bullied, had a very turbulent relationship with my dad and an eating disorder that I managed to keep a secret. But despite all this, you know, I had these big dreams. I was going to be a singer and an actress. I practiced all the time and I moved to New York City when I was 17. And I did some really cool and courageous things but I had this backstory that was following me. Mm. It's true that we have to move forward despite yes. what's in the way, but we also have to deal to heal. And I didn't do that. And if we don't deal with our backstory, if we don't recognize it, it will always be in our way. So right when my music career was getting ready to take off, I took off. I ran away from everything I had ever worked for and believed in. Um, there is nothing quite like knowing God has a huge call on your life. Yes. And as you know, God has a huge call on everyone's life and not doing anything about it. And What uh, became the, uh, the key to the open door for you to find this change that you experienced through Christ? Well, you would have thought it was almost dying three times of alcohol poisoning, but honestly, that wasn't it. Um, I think the key to my breakthrough, I knew I wasn't going to make it much longer. I mean, I knew that I had to stop drinking. But what I didn't know was if I could deal with all the reasons why I was drinking so much in the first place. You know, um, but we have to get down to the root of our issues. And when we do that, we can start replacing the lies with truth, the bad experiences with God's promise. So my key to breakthrough was purpose. God brought purpose back into my life. He gave me two dreams that brought hope back. And one of them was in the midst of my mess. Um, you know, purpose gives us strength to make those changes because it's not about us anymore. 
purpose yes. is bigger than us. It's not about us. God saved me so he could use me. So I have been on a mission since then to speak life into other people's life because God has a purpose and a plan for all of us, but we have to believe it and we have to fight for it. What do you say to that person who, who sees, you know, you on the camera today, you're, you're beautiful, you have a, written a book, you're a writer, you're a singer, it appears you have your act together, and it's hard for us to imagine. It we, appeared like that when I did it most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I can imagine that there's this person that's watching that's saying, okay, he can do that for her, but he can never do that for me. What do you say to that person? I would say to that person that I drank 20 beers a day for years that I almost died three times, that no one knew what was going on. So I would urge them to get honest with themselves and to beg God to deliver them. And if God did it for me, he can do it for them. I am a living proof that God can change our story. He restores the years that we have sown in tears. Our ladder can be better. But like Romans 8, 28, God can work it all out for our good. He will, he wants to, he is right there. But 1 Peter 5, 8, warns us that the devil, our enemy, roams around looking for whom he can devour. Prior to changing my story, I was letting the regrets, the guilt, the shame, the what ifs, all the things the devil uses to devour me. So we have to recognize there is a spiritual warfare aspect of change and to let them start recognizing when the enemy is lying to them saying, no, you can't, you can't do this, I don't have this for you. And Read your Bible. Yes. Pray. Yes. Pray. Ask God to deliver you from this and mean it. And know that you can change your story. God specializes in that. And you can turn your mess into a message. Every bit of my pain, all of the pain I experience, He is using for purpose. He is, and it makes it make a little more sense. Yes. <laughs> I love the, the uh, word that you use in your subtitle. Your life is a masterpiece waiting to be discovered. Talk to us about why you chose the word masterpiece. Well, it's like Picasso said where there was like a statue and you would have to chip away, getting away all the junk to find the actual, what he was looking for. Yes. There's a masterpiece in all of us, but we have to dig deep to find it because many times, especially in my experience, it was buried underneath a lot of mess. So we have to dig, dig, dig deep to find that. You know, um, one of the key ingredients of changing our story is understanding why we do what we do. Because more often than we want to admit, the addictions, the bad relationships, the habits, the need for control, the reasons why we have to stay busy, they are just our insides screaming, you know, deal with me. Yes. And that's what we have to do. You know, the, uh, the, the voice of our culture, uh, which is all over social media, all over television, radio, even music or books, magazines and things that we encounter on a daily basis. It's all screaming this message that you're not enough. You're not pretty enough, you're not smart enough, you're not thin enough, you're not rich enough. It's one of my messages, <laughs> <laughs> it's verbatimly how you just said it. Well, because it, it's, it's amazing how the enemy's voice is always the same. It's the same to you, it's the same to me, it's, it's the same for millions of people who are watching the show today, mm -hmm. it's the same message. But we, but he, the enemy, allows, wants us to think that we're the only one. Oh, absolutely. Can you speak to that? Absolutely. And one of the biggest changes that I made, and none of the other changes I would have made would have stuck without it, is retraining my brain, getting that voice out of my head, not letting feelings be the boss of my life, and speaking life into our life. We have to speak life. Every time that voice starts playing, it's, a uh, familiar tune, like you were just saying, we have to tell it, and now I know to go back to hell where it belongs. Yes. It is not of God. It is not what God says about us. It's not what He wants about us. So it, we have to throw it out. We have to instantly replace that with a truth. You know, it's hard for me not to think about something, but I can replace it with a song, with a, with a lyric from God, with a scripture that He says. And I, yes. that's what I have to do. I instantly replace that doubt. And it's discipline. It is daily discipline. But the more you do it, the easier it gets. Yes. You can, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Well, speaking of uh, a song or a lyric, you have a lot of songs and a lot of lyrics because you're a singer and you're going to sing for us today. What are you going to sing for us? Well, I just want to say that um, I, it took me a long time to forgive myself for running away from my dream when I ran away from it because there's a big difference in giving something to God and running away. But seven years ago when I was begging God to save my life, I gave him my dreams, my desires, everything and promised to do whatever he said. And to the best of my ability, I've done that for seven years. 
but I never thought I would be singing like on stage again. I thought I just, that was done. He had new things for me, but God had different plans and he blessed me with a song um, called Change My Story that I just pray ministers to people's hearts and stirs people's souls and it reminds them that with God, you can change your story. So the song is called Change to My Story and I am really excited and honored to sing it on your show. Awesome, how did the song come to you? Is it well, a song that you wrote or someone wrote, wrote for you? I wrote the song, this is great. Wonderful. Because I literally went up to this uh, musician at this concert one night, knew him a, a little bit, and I said, hey, I'm writing a song, change my story to go with my book. Do you wanna collaborate? And he's like, yeah, okay, let's do it over Thanksgiving. I walk back to my chair, Babby, and I'm like, I'm writing a song called <laughs> Change My Story. And I'm like, I wasn't writing anything. I wasn't thinking about writing anything. And I'm like, okay, God, this is cool. So a couple of weeks later, I'm like, God, you gotta give me a song. So I just asked, prayed to God, it was that it came so easily. So I sent it to him and I said, well, just close your eyes, ask God what he gives you for the melody. And when he sent it to me, I just sat in my living room and just cried because we know, I knew people were being touched by the message. I read the reviews but it's like it all comes together. Yes. It's like when I truly gave God my plans, He said, okay, now I can work with you. Now I can do this. Now I can use you. So it's like, it's pretty amazing. Amen, it is amazing. We're gonna hear that beautiful song here in just a little bit. Kirsten Lee is my guest. And the name of her book is called Change Your Story. Well, how do we get in touch with you and get your book and your music? I would love that. And I also have a new book for tweens I wanna show you, it's called Believe and it's a fiction series. My goal is if they can read this, they'll never need to read Change Your Story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> they'll learn how to deal with those disappointments and big dreams. But you can uh, connect with me at kirstenlee.biz. K-I-R-S-T-I-N-L-E-I-G-H dot biz. There's a booking page. You can connect with me, and I would love to um, hear from everyone. Wonderful. Well, get ready to sing for us, all I'm right? I'm ready. And you get ready to hear Kirsten Lee sing in just a little bit, because after this break, she's going to take the stage and sing some beautiful music for us. Kirsten Lee, change your story. Your life is a masterpiece waiting to be discovered. Stick around. More of Babby's House is coming to you right after this break. We'll be right back after this. Thanks for coming back to Babby's House. Kirsten Lee is going to sing for us now, but before she does, I want to encourage you to visit her website at kirstenlee.biz. Now, let's go to the stage and welcome back to Babby's House, Kirsten Lee.
Thank you so very much. Just oh, stay right here with me. And you, my friend, thank you so very much for watching Babby's House today. It gives me great joy to know that you've taken time out of your day to visit Babby's House. Listen, when you watch Babby's House, we want you to know that we are all about encouraging you in your most holy faith. And that's why we have guests like Kirsten who are here with us today. And while you're online, will you visit my website at babby.com? There you can see all the resources that we have to offer books and for women, Bible studies, all kinds of wonderful music and great resources to encourage you in your faith right there at babby.com. As as well as uh, click on www.babbymasonradio for beautiful music and encouraging words 24 hours a day. Well, the Lord bless you and thanks again for watching Babby's House today. We hope we'll meet you again right here. Until then, may the Lord bless you and yours real good. See you next time. Bye-bye. Good job.